Dance is a way of life. It goes hand in hand with breathing, eating, and sleeping. It doesn't matter what background you come from, people understand the language of dance. Sometimes like, I'll hear rain and I think it's drum beats. The rhythm is like carrying me or something. You go somewhere else after a while. Rooted is a collective of folks that want to help empower families and especially women of color in Kalamazoo, Michigan. In Kalamazoo, black babies die just over four times more often than white babies. So as a very new birth worker hearing these statistics, I was thinking I've got to do something. My definition of birthing justice is you have all of the tools, information, and support needed to have the best prenatal lifestyle, birth, and then postnatal outcome that you choose for yourself and your family. A doula is a Greek word that means a woman who serves or server of women. That's like a little we support birthing people emotionally, physically, and with comfort measures such as massage and gentle touch. We have a cohort of 20 doulas and more than 80% of them are women of color who come from the demographic that is seeing these significant mortality rates. There is evidence-based research showing that even just having a doula in the room increases positive birth outcomes. This work for me is, I guess, my life's calling. Kemo lost a baby. This would happen years ago, but I think that's that also fueled her passion to to be there for you know for moms during this time, you know. Rooted is essentially body awareness. It's essentially connecting to and communicating with music and community in a way that's joyful and it's uh, it's powerful. Ninety-nine percent of the time, I'll go dance and feel a thousand times better because I just release those emotions through my body. Dance is a way in which I can release, a way in which I can connect, the way in which I can experience joy and happiness. When I feel like there's something in me that can't get out, I just dance it out. In African dance, the drums have a conversation with the dancer. So there's deep listening happening along with polyrhythmic movement. So it just takes your level of body connectedness to the next level. Dancing, dancing is, hey, what, 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 what are we without dancing? You know what I'm saying? We might as well be trees, right? <laughs> Even trees dance, though. <laughs> so you gotta dance. It's very important. 
therapy, therapy, therapy. Drumming is therapy. We go through things in life, and sometimes when I come to drum, it's like all that is blocked out. Sometimes I feel like it's not even me drumming anymore. Like, my body is removed. And I'm not even feeling no pain. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? The rhythm is like carrying me or something. It's always been an outlet for the 18 years that I've been in the United States. It's kept me out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? I could, I could release anger, frustration, or whatever it is on the drum. And, and I didn't hurt nobody, really. You know what I'm saying? Instead, I made people happy. When we experienced traditional West African drum and dance, it felt like home. It kind of brought us back to our roots in a way. You know, hence rooted, right? It's rooted in family, it's rooted in community. There's a very common African proverb called, it takes a village. What that truly means is, you don't do anything by yourself. You do everything as a collective. And you're stopping and you're acknowledging each other and you're experiencing and engaging with each other in a very beautiful way. Community, it's essential. I mean, it is absolutely essential to what we do. That's rooted.